the scarf in a curved way and let's just see what happens it either works or it doesn't work I either like it or I don't like it so yeah that's what I'm going to do hello fashion sewers I hope you are fine if you are new to my channel I'm Colleen G Lee and on my channel I do sewing techniques and refashioning of old or new clothing so what happens is that I will do a refashioning project and any kind of tricky technique I'll put links to those in the description so if you are into refashioning of old or new clothing then this video is worth watching because I am refashioning a jumper into a scarf and in this segment we are going to be refashioning this top and well this jumper into a scarf um yes the minimum amount of sewing <laughs> um it's quite quite thin sleeves and there isn't that much body to the top um but we're going to make the most of it so let's get started so the first thing you're going to need to do is to turn it inside out because we will be cutting So we're going to cut along the seams of the body and to the sleeve and cut away any labels if you have. Right, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a jagged edge that's happening here and here so I'm just going to neaten that off keep your strides with your scissors quite long don't do them very small like this because you end up with really lots of jagged edges so you don't want that so just keep them as long as possible get into the middle of your scissors in order to keep them as long possible and just keep doing that until you have no longer any more jagged edges okay you should end up with something like this so we need to cut away the sleeves from the body of the jumper and just follow the seam for now if you want to straighten it you can do see I followed the shape of the sleeve if you wanted to just cut straight down because I just want to see what it looks like before I cut more than likely I will okay so as you can see by joining both sleeves like so it's going to be rather a short small scarf and I want it to be a little bit longer than that so I'm going to get that from the body of the jumper okay like the ribbing that's happening here that's nice the ribbing that's happening here and also the neck neckline that's nice um, so I'll just get one of these and play around with how that's going to fall Oh, 
Okay, I am going to cut. Yeah, I'm going to cut the neckline. nice maybe that one to there looks really nice and join that on to here and top of here like so and then I've got this on to this end. That's nice as well. We have a pretty long scarf then. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go for. Let's see how this will look. Okay, so we know we're going to put it like so. So this is the back. I know it's not going to be exactly the same when it comes to the neckline. Um, it's different shapes, but that's fine. It's a refashioned project. And do I fill it under like so? No, because it's really going to be, yeah, no. Okay. So it really is going to be a case of me placing this here. Because I don't want it to be too long because if I added it to here, it will be a super long scarf. Um, which isn't a, a bad idea because you just can wrap it around yourself a few times that's okay but I just like the aesthetic of this being quite close to this area here I think it's a lot nicer and that's what I want to go for I do like what's happening between these two so I'm going to place it like so so the, the best thing to do then would be to sew this into position before cutting and do the same with the other section and then join them at the centre here and let's see what that looks like. So I think the first thing I'll do is definitely put some pins in and tack and see what it looks like. Okay, I've got my needle and thread. I'm not going to pin. I'm just going to skip skip the pinning, the pinning stage. Um, if you're not that confident, then do pin first, and then you can baste it into position, like so. I've baste it in three sections: here, in the middle, and at the other end. So what needs to happen now is that I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew around here, straight down here on both sides. And I'm going to sew around here as well. I have sewn the neck, the neckline to the bottom half of the sleeve and also on the other side and I've sewn the bottom of the jumper together like so. That's lovely actually, quite nice. So I removed the tacking thread, so just removed the middle one. And then we 
we're going to be on to the no sew part of the project um, just so that it looks a little bit more I don't know no it, it looks a bit rough doesn't it so we're going to have one part of the scarf that's going to be a little bit more perhaps narrower than the other and maybe not no let's flip it over so this is going to be the wrong side and it'll be okay Ooh, i like this i was actually thinking about cutting this away because remember when i said that i didn't want the scarf to be too long but well, i'm gonna that is cute i'm gonna keep that because it's like a, a flounce on the inside that's pretty good actually so it gives it a little bit more body to the ends of the scarf that's good yeah i'm happy with that yes that's fine less cutting yeah it's fine so yeah that's that's okay a lot more fullness too so this is going to be the kind of like the front well not kind of it is the front of the scarf and this is going to be the back of the scarf so if, if i was going to cut this section away you would have this rounded edge on the wrong side but i am going to keep that in place it's fine absolutely fine so what i need to do next is just to cut down the sides and actually maybe i should have cut down the sides before i actually cut here because it means i'll have to reinforce that section or maybe not just thought of another idea what i could do is slightly curve it mm. i like that idea that is what i'm going to stick with because i like the idea and when you are refashioning it is about experimenting let me just bring the camera up so where was i oh yeah i was talking about the size of the scarf so when you are refashioning it really is all about experimenting as you are going through the process of refashioning so i'm really happy with the fact that i didn't cut the sleeves to the length that i thought i may have wanted it i just let that go and just see what happens and that's what i find so fascinating when it comes to refashioning is that sometimes you have in your mind what you want to go for and sometimes just tell yourself mm, maybe i'll just leave it until the end or near the end of that process before you have to go on to another process for it to look you know anything like that you want it to look like and that's what i'm finding such fun when it comes to refashioning of old or even new clothing so yeah so i've got an extra fullness to the bottom of the scarf that i'm going to go with and why not why not just play around and reshape the sides of the scarf in a curved way and let's just see what happens it either works or it doesn't work they either like it or don't like it so yeah that's what i'm going to do and we are done my scarf is complete yeah, i'm going to style it for you so you can either wear it like this and that's fine or like this it's also fine you, you have lots of options i don't need to tell you how to wear your scarf and i am so happy with the results the results are amazing kind of bit this is going to be a scarf that i've been wearing a lot of times so um if you are new to my channel then consider subscribing it really is worth subscribing because i've got lots of refashioning video tutorials on my channel and also sewing techniques that will help you when you come to do your refashioning of any of your projects and if you like this video please put a comment below and please give me a thumbs up and if you have any ideas for any refashioning of any projects 
for any project of any garments, then please let me know also in the comments. And I will see you next time.